Hi, it's Chili here, back with another fun video. It's been too long, you know, I was sick with COVID, so it's been a few weeks since I've done a full video, and I'm finally back to normal and feeling a lot better, so it's time for me to do my August faves and fails. Um, and I figured since I just started my channel in the middle of July, I would just do all my faves and fails since then. And there aren't a lot of fails. I really love makeup, so most of them are faves. So anyway, if you like this kind of video, could you give it a thumbs up? And also consider subscribing to my channel. I could really use your help along the way. So I have all of my faves here in front of me and I'll just be pulling them out randomly and sharing with you what they are. Some of them I'm wearing. So number one here is the ColourPop On The List eyeshadow palette. I have it on today. And here are the colors. And it's a nice variety of different colors. Um, I've been specifically using the neutrals here and this lavender shade I focus on and then also this whitish type shimmer. Um, but look, there's like cranberry in here. There's this one I've used to um, use as eyeliner. There's this pretty green and these two greens. I'm not so sure about these two greens. They're kind of I don't know, we'll see when I try them on. But anyway, there's a lot of really pretty shades in here and I'm just really enjoying it. Next is this CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Care Hydrating Clean, Clean, Hydrating Cream Cleanser. I bought this because CoverGirl became cruelty free and I bought a lot of products from CoverGirl because I'd been wanting to use the brand and so it was like my free ticket to start using it. And this cleanser has really stood out. It um, is very creamy as the name implies and it does remove makeup. It's a great first step in a double cleanse. It doesn't leave me with any dry, tight feeling afterward. And I would just give it a lot of, I would just give it a big thumbs up and it's reasonably priced also. So I will be buying this again. This is something I tried um, not on camera, but during COVID, um, the Huda Beauty Sugar Cookie Easy Bake um, Loose Baking and Setting Powder. And I just really love it. Out of all the setting powders I've tried, this has been my favorite so far. It's very light, very, this one in particular is transparent. It doesn't cause any cakiness, no matter how much you use which I've been guilty of creating cakiness and you just can't do it with this. And it does add like a really nice texture to the skin after using it. So I definitely will be reusing this over and over. When I did my CoverGirl video, I tried this CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Foundation and I just really, really enjoyed it. Um, I really like emollient foundations because I do have dry skin and it's very radiant and it provides a good coverage. So I will definitely be using this again. I did, a, I think my first video was a comparison between the Flower Beauty Spotlight Liquid Highlighter and the Charlotte Tilbury product. It's similar, I have it here in my, unfortunately my fails. But anyway, um, this one is in the shade Gleam and I just like this one better. It's a lot more subdued and more natural looking, so I really enjoy this product. Another CoverGirl product from that video is the True Blend Super Stunner Hyper Glow um, Highlighter, and it's in the shade Pearl Crush, and I'm actually wearing it today. And it's a nice highlighter. It's, you know, natural looking. Um, it does enhance texture a little bit, but you know, that's okay. I have wrinkles and I'm okay with it. So I just like highlighter. This Fenty Beauty Invisimate Setting and Blotting Powder. Um, it's in a universal shade. I thought it was pink when I first saw it and I had yet to try a pink powder, which I still have yet to try one, but I do have some ready to review. Um, and it came with this, um, blotting I want to say sheet but it's more of like a poof a blotting poof anyway and I've been using it a lot um, during the summer here I keep it in my purse and um, that way when I get sweaty I can blot and and I haven't really used it as a setting powder per se but I guess I could try that it's mostly been hanging out in my purse but I really enjoy it 
This I got from Ipsy, um, Deer Beach um, Cheek and Lip Tint in the color Venice. And it's just a perfect summer blush. Um, it's very emollient, which I enjoy. And it's a really pretty color. I'll show it to you. It's just really pretty and flattering, probably for a lot of different um, skin tones. Oh, I tried this Fente Uday perfume and I just, it's this little, see this little guy it was $10. I really like it. I'm gonna put a little bit on. And I will include the notes, top notes for you um, so that you can kind of get an idea of what it should smell like, but it's very spicy. Um, and rich and exotic smelling. Mm, amber I can smell in it. I like the amber. Anyway, it's just really nice. It's an evening, I would say it's an evening fragrance or, or a sexy fragrance, I guess you could call it, but it's really nice. So I'm glad I tried that. Out of the few concealers that I tried, I found that the Item Beauty Concealer was the one I liked the most, and that's even compared to the NARS Creamy Concealer. This is more creamy to me. And um, I got it in the lightest shade, 100, and that shade works for me. Um, the doe foot applicator is quite large, so that part's not so convenient. And see how it's getting kind of gloppy um, here? It's hard to tell. So that part, I'm not sure what that's about. Um, the room where I film and keep my makeup is, you know, it has been really hot where I live. It's like 110 today and it doesn't cool off all the way in here. So I don't think it's churning. Um, I think it's probably just that it's so creamy. It maybe gets a little gloppy, gloopy. Anyway, it still works. Oh, the Makeup by Mario Self Sculpt. Um, transforming skin enhancer I got it in light medium and it's just beautiful this is the best well it's the only product of this kind I've ever tried I want to say it's the best bronzer but it's not really a bronzer it's more of a skin warmer upper um, and it's just you know really undetectable on the skin I mean I have it on today and you can definitely tell my skin is warmed up I don't think that you can tell that I have on bronzer per se. And so it's just really beautiful. It's very emollient. Me and emollients go hand in hand, so it's awesome. Um, one that I was on the fence about, wasn't sure whether to get it because it's a big investment, the Dior Backstage Glow Palette. I'm so glad I got it. It's just so beautiful. I'm gonna put a little bit on now. That CoverGirl highlighter is pretty, but I'm gonna put this on. Let's see, where's my little brush? Okay, a lot of people combine the shades. I've been sticking mostly to the white. But I mean, you can tell the difference. I mean, it's really a lit from within glow that it gives you. It doesn't look artificial at all. It's just so pretty. I just really love it. I've pretty much been wearing it every day since I got it. I mean, I will be also reviewing other highlighters. I have one coming right now for Merit that I'm dying to try. It's a, it's in a stick, so I want to try that too. So that will be coming soon. I wanted to uh, mention the Cheekers by CoverGirl. I was really impressed with this, you know, for being an inexpensive blush. I thought it worked really well. The color on here I can't see because the label got torn, so unfortunately I can't tell you the shade, but it looks pretty neutral, um, whatever it is. It's probably a mauve type shade. The Fenty Matchstick, um, I got the mini and I got it in Amber 01. Let me show you the shade. It's very neutral. Um, it does create a good shadow, you know, it's supposed to create shadows around your face and on your nose and this is the perfect size for a nose contour, I will say. I'm glad I got the mini. This I got at Nordstrom Rack and it's $3.99. It's this LA Girl, um, let's see, Extreme Shine Gel Like Polish, Gel Like. 
But anyway, it didn't chip for like a week. I was really surprised because I didn't expect much. I just really liked the shade and I'll definitely try to find more shades of this. It's a really good polish. Oh, what I'm wearing today and what I've been wearing quite a bit is this Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Foundation. Um, it's pretty full coverage. They say it's full coverage. I mean, you can still see my skin underneath. Um, I do have a lot to cover, but anyway, it's very emollient, very radiant. Um, I just really enjoy it. I've been wearing it a lot. It's my summer foundation. It's even in a shade a little bit um, darker than what I normally wear in the winter. So it's definitely my summer foundation and I really, really like this. I recommend it highly if you have dry skin. I also tried this Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse um, Primer, Mattifying Primer. Um, I have yet to find a primer that really does a lot for me. I hate to say that. Um, I have the new Kelly Ray Primer coming, so I'm hoping that I'll see some something with that. I put it on today. I actually ended up just putting it on half of my face. And I don't know if I'm not waiting long enough before I put on my makeup. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, I just do have a lot to fill in. You know, I do have very textured skin. It's very cooling when you put it on. So the sensation alone is worth putting it on for. I really, and if you have like a lot less, less texture and maybe some smaller pores to cover, um, this would probably work great for you. My first MAC lipstick in Velvet Teddy, I'm wearing that now. It's a very nice neutral shade. It's matte, but yet still soft and emollient. It's very nice. And my first MAC um, lip liner. I know that there's a lot of popular shades of this, but I looked at some different colors and I decided to go with Strip Down, um, which is, I don't know, let me show you. It's, it's a neutral color. Um, it leans red, I guess. But anyway, it works for me. I like the color. I'm not sure what you're supposed to look for. I do have other lip liners of different shades, but I like this one. And then I tried using this Way Detox Shampoo. Um, I tend to wear my hair in the 90s wing fashion. And I do get a lot of buildup in here, and so this shampoo really removes it. It's really nice. And I finally started using Aquaphor. I had heard so many people talk about it. It's really nice. I guess I thought it would be like Vaseline, but it's not at all. It basically reminds me of the, um, I'm not gonna remember the name of them. They're a very popular um, lip gloss. It's a lip gloss, but it also has a lot of nice ingredients in it. It's proven to relieve dryness and soothe chapped, cracked lips. It's fragrance-free and paraben-free, and it just really works. I didn't have dry lips, and it really works well. I put it on at night, and my lips are really nice the next day. And I did also try this other fragrance. Um, Kaoli Love Fest Burning Cherry. It's not what I thought it would be. I thought it would be an evening fragrance um, similar to the Fenty fragrance. This is more of a daytime fragrance. It does smell a lot like cherry and I smell vanilla and I will include the top notes for you so that you can get an idea of what it would smell like. Um, I definitely would try it again. So I really like it. I'm glad I bought it. So here's my um, fails. There aren't many of them. But I had to have a few. And one is a fail. I mean, it's definitely a fail. So anyway, between the Flower Beauty Spotlight Liquid Highlighter and then this is the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand in Pinkasm, I preferred the Flower Beauty. And this isn't a fail for you, but for me, it's like too dark and it's too bright, um, I guess would be the right word. It just doesn't look flattering on me. Um, and it is $40, so, you know, I'm gonna have to find someone to give it to. But anyway, so there's that. The CoverGirl Clean Fresh Hydrating Concealer. It basically has no coverage at all. 
to me it was like putting water under my eyes so I don't recommend that to anybody that really wants coverage from a concealer. The e.l.f. Luminous Putty Blush. Um, it's in Belize, the color, and I don't know what you see when you look at it. Let me swatch it. I guess when you swatch it, you can really tell what color it's going to be. Can you see that? To me, I look at it and I see pink. You know, maybe you don't. But anyway, when I put it on, it was definitely a very coral color, which is fine. I like coral. It just wasn't what I expected when I saw it. Um, so anyway, I was just surprised, but it's a good product. And then the sad, very sad one, the last one, is the um, Sigma Disney Princess Palette, the Cinderella Palette. And I'll show you the colors. I took the brush out already. Um, I really tried with this, you know, I tried a makeup eye look that I got from Risa Does Makeup on YouTube and that was using a couple of the shimmers and then this blue color here and that came out so-so. Um, I'm not a big using a lot of shimmers person and blue isn't necessarily always good on me. The first time I tried it, I did try the two blue shades here and they kept getting muddy they they wouldn't blend um they just look bad so then i tried the purple shades right here and this color in particular would not blend i just could not get it to um really look it doesn't look great right there i just could not get it to like work on me it wouldn't not that it wouldn't show up well basically it wouldn't show up um, you know, I kept trying to put it like more and more on and it just wasn't doing anything. All I could see was the bottom color. So anyway, that's a really pretty shade. Um, I'll show you. This is a really pretty shade. I don't know if it's worth the money that I spent for the whole palette. And I will keep trying with it. The shimmers are nice. I mean, nothing to write home about. You know, this one in particular, this, um, one of a kind i'll show you it's beautiful i mean it's a beautiful shimmer it's like in between a blue and a silver and maybe it has some pink in it yeah it's got a little pink in it so that's a really pretty shimmer i could use you know but i don't like combining palettes necessarily not that i don't like it but i'm try to be efficient when I put on my makeup and so I've got a pool from different things it's like can be kind of a pain so anyway um yeah luckily I got that on sale so I will I will still continue to use it just not as much as I would like the other palette that I got so anyway that's it for me this time hope you enjoyed the video and I will be doing another one real soon now that I'm feeling better I plan to be back uh, twice a week at least probably more I'm hoping um, if you like this video again could you please give it a thumbs up why don't you come along on my journey with me and subscribe to my channel I could sure use you on my team so anyway I'll see you in my next one thanks for watching I was taking off my makeup and I realized I forgot the most important thing that I like. My favorite thing since I started my channel is all of you. I really appreciate your likes and to those who have subscribed, thank you so much. I'm really grateful for all of you. See you next time.